Well, as you know, one of the things that we get to celebrate is baptism. And so this morning we have a number of baptisms that we're going to do. We're going to do five in this service, five in the next service. Let me just set it up for you. What is baptism? Well, the Bible commands us to be baptized. It's not an option. It is a command given by the Lord Jesus Christ. And we believe, based on Scripture, that baptism doesn't save you. Baptism is simply an outward sign of an inward reality. In fact, I like to use the word pick. Pick is a good acrostic to summarize what is the meaning of baptism. First of all, baptism symbolizes P, purity. In other words, when they go on the water, it's a symbol that their sins have been washed away. Baptism doesn't wash their sins away, but it's simply a picture of how they've been forgiven by Jesus Christ because they have repented and trusted in Christ. And so P is purity. And then I is identification. The Bible says that baptism is an outward picture of our identification with Christ. You say, what do you mean by that? Well, the visual up on the screen will show you. The Bible says that when we accept Jesus Christ, we die with Christ. In other words, the old you was crucified with Christ. The old you was buried, and then just as Jesus rose from the dead, you and I rise from the dead. And so baptism, when we go in the water, that symbolizes our death, burial, and when we come out of the water, our resurrection with Jesus Christ. So we are identified with Christ in baptism. It's a picture of that. And then finally, C in our acrostic is commitment. Baptism in the early church wasn't just well, I'm getting baptized today, it was an outward public declaration that you were committing yourself to follow Jesus Christ and that you were going to stand in allegiance with him. And so baptism represents commitment. And so the Bible says that when we baptize here, we do it three times to symbolize the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit based on Matthew chapter 28. Some do it one, some do it three times. We don't get into that theological controversy, but we do it three times here to symbolize the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And so we're now going to have our baptisms. Let's pray and let's celebrate together as we watch the baptisms. Good morning, Northwest Chapel family. My name is Pastor John. It is great to celebrate with you all this morning. And what a special morning we have. Uh, not just to get to worship our Lord together, uh, but to get to have these baptisms five this morning. You're going to be treated. And, of course, our time in the Word together. Uh, this morning, these are really special mornings uh, when you get to be a part of this. Uh, so first, I've got my daughter. So that's extra special, Anaya. And I also get to baptize a couple of my students, which is really, really exciting to see them take those steps. Uh, I do just want to share, because we've got five and we're going to kind of keep it rolling here, uh, that we're not going to pray after each person. We're going to pray at the end of the five. And so while after each baptism, you are welcome to clap and cheer and whatever you'd like to do, um, we won't be praying after each one. We'll pray at the end of all of them. So first we have Anaya Pappas. And uh, I'm going to kind of ask the same two questions to each person that's getting baptized this morning. First, Anaya, um, you know, when did you kind of first make that decision to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? And then why are you getting baptized today? Um, when I was five, um, I was watching a sermon and I knew I was a sinner and I went behind the couch to talk to Jesus alone and I prayed to him how I was a sinner, and I, I wanted to, him to save me. Mm, yeah. And why did you decide to get baptized today? <laughs> because I, um, I want to show everybody that I have accepted Christ and that I believe in Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Awesome. That's great, Anaya. All right, so Anaya, now if you could go ahead and kneel. <laughs> and Anaya, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son Good. <laughs> and of the Holy Spirit. All right. Thank you. All 
All right, and here we have Olivia Olson, uh, one of our students in the youth group, and she's jumped in and joined our student leadership team this year, and it's just been amazing, you know, these past couple years to really see her grow in her faith, um, just make it really real, spending time with the Lord, uh, wanting to be outspoken to her friends at school. Um, so Olivia, I'm just going to ask you the same couple of questions. Um, you know, when did you know that you came to that personal relationship with Jesus? When did you make that decision? And then why are you deciding to take the step today to uh, be baptized? So I came to Jesus when I was seven, but then we came to Northwest Chapel, and I really just learned what it was what I was to have a relationship with Jesus. And everyone here was just, like, so welcoming and able to show me that. And then eventually it, like, started to slow down, and I was less connected with God. But then over the summer, we all went to Momentum, which was the best youth trip I've ever been on, in personal opinion. But... Um, and then God just really showed me who he was and just really changed me. And so I've just, I just want to live for him. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, if you want to go ahead and kneel. <laughs> Olivia, I want to baptize you in the name of the Father. And in the name of the Son. And in the name of the Holy Spirit. And uh, here we have Wyatt Hunt, and uh, Wyatt kind of came into our life here at Northwest Chapel just about a year ago, and it's been an absolutely incredible ride to see him dive right in, um, become a leader right away, uh, not just with his words, but his actions. He's truly a servant leader, and uh, he's really been following the Lord and has taken huge steps in his faith to just want to grow. Uh, also, part of our student leadership team, and again, just exemplifies that in so many ways. So... Wyatt, again, when did you kind of know that you came to that decision of a personal relationship in Jesus, and uh, why are you deciding to get baptized today? So, <clears throat> so I grew up with a faith, but I, I kind of just saw God as a judge sitting on a throne until like a few years ago when I really noticed that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Um, and ever since coming to Northwest Chapel, I've really <clears throat> been able to reflect that reflect Christ in my life. Um, so just baptism is really special to me, so glad to do it with all of you. It's awesome, Wyatt. And Wyatt, I'm blessed to baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. All right, we're just going to do a little transition here as we got some more people stepping into the tub and uh, the baptisms will continue. Hi, we're Jim and Jan Sylvester, longtime members of the church and recently retired missionaries. And with us today is um, my wonderful friend and disciple, Gloria Fuller. Gloria is a retired school teacher from Wisconsin. We've known each other for over 40 years, <laughs> and she's become a very special sister to me and a part of our family. Whenever she visits us here in Columbus, um, she joins us in worship here at Northwest Chapel. And so it was a real natural thing for her to ask Jim and I to baptize her here today. She'd like to tell you her testimony. I accepted Jesus Christ as my savior when I was about 12 or 13 years old at a Billy Graham crusade in Minneapolis. And I sat as far away as possible, clear up in the top bleachers. And Jesus found me there. I felt like I was the worst sinner ever, and the only problem was I came on a church bus 
all alone. And at 12, 13 years old, I was afraid to walk forward because I might lose my ride home. And Billy Graham said something I've noticed he says all the time. If you came with a bus, don't worry, they'll wait. <laughs> and that was my cue from the Holy Spirit that it was okay to walk down. And I took the journey, and I'll never forget the day I asked Jesus into my heart. your nose. There you go. Okay. Well, on your profession of faith, Gloria, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and the name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> yeah. Good morning. This is good stuff, people. So exciting. Come on in. This is Madeline Mast. Madeline, why don't you tell us uh, what grade you're in and what school you attend? I'm a freshman at Jonathan Alder. Yeah, absolutely. And when, uh, when Madeline asked me if I would baptize her, I was so excited. This is a special moment for the church. It's a special moment for anyone uh, privileged enough to be in here and do this. But she told me her testimony. And Something dramatic changed this summer for her. Now, she's been attending this church, and she would say I, she knew the Lord, she loved the Lord, but something very special happened this summer at Momentum, at the conference. God became real to her, and she took ownership of her faith and surrendered her life to Christ. Amen. And so as a result, as she has been growing in her faith, she wants to profess her faith in front of all of you, and she is delighted to be baptized now, and it's my honor to do so. So, Maddie, go ahead and take a knee. I'm going to set this down. Madeline Mast, upon your profession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, I baptize you now in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Would you pray with me? Our Heavenly Father, we praise you for these individuals who have come forward. We pray for Anaya and Olivia and Wyatt and Gloria and Madeline, for their relationship with you, Lord Jesus, for their profession of faith in you, for their salvation, and for this step in their walk with you to be baptized as believers. Lord, we bring this all to you for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Good stuff. Good stuff this morning. Praise the Lord. And if you, uh, if you would like to be baptized and you've never been baptized as a profession of your faith, we want to encourage you to uh, prayerfully consider being in obedience to the Lord and uh, let us know. We have baptism, baptisms that will take place periodically throughout the year. Now, before we uh, get into God's Word, we're in the book of James. I just wanted to touch on the subject because it's a controversial subject of war. Israel obviously is engaged in war with Hamas, and 